What's up guys, Elliot here from Venom Films and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do the cool Andres Hem light flickering effect which is seen in quite a lot is of his edits. And when I finally had time to edit, I realized that it was cooler to combine all the vlogs into one. And yeah, this is, this is a fairly simple effect, it just involves some planes and some glow effects and some masks. Anyway, so let's get on to the tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is add a plane. Now you want to use a kind of cream yellowish plane, which I think looks works best as it's kind of the colour of the light kind of thing. So on this new plane layer, you can just rename that something like, I don't know, light glow or something. So once you've renamed it, you're going to turn it off by pressing the little eye clicker next to that layer. Now turning this off makes it easier to mask out the actual light. So now on the footage of the original light, we're going to mask that out. So we're just going to click on the pen tool and we're just going to click around the outside of that. So we have our mask. Now when we turn this plane back on, you'll notice we have a very rough yellow plane around the inside of the bit that we want to glow. Then you're going to want to change the blend mode to screen, which basically makes it kind of a yellowish tint. Now we want to go into the shape properties of this mask and change the feather to something around 15, just so it kind of smooths the edges out. And then we're, and then we're also going to change the roundness to about two. Okay, once we've got that, you can now see we're sort of resembling something that looks semi-lightish. We need to add a glow. So we're going to go to the effects panel and search for a glow. They're going to drag that onto our plane layer. Now we're going to make the intensity of that glow to about 1.3. Now this isn't an exact science, you can just have something that looks good for your shot. Now you'll notice that it looks good on the first frame of this glow, but if you move the timeline along, it'll look, it's kind of, the glow is not in the right place. So we need to use some keyframes. Now what keyframe is, is just basically positioning the light and just kind of animating it. Now to do this keyframe, we're going to go to the transform of the mask layer on the actual mask and we're going to click on path. Now if we go back over to our uh, viewer, you'll notice there's like a box around that path. Now we just need to animate that by pressing control and the arrow keys. Now every time we do this control and the arrow keys, it'll move on a frame. So. I suggest every two frames to speed this up. Every two frames you want to reposition that into the position where it looked originally. But just remember you've clicked the keyframe button, otherwise it won't save your work and you'll have to do it all over again. Okay, once you've done that, you'll notice now it's just this, now it looks like it, the light is actually just turned on all the time. So we need to animate it turning on. Now to do that, we're going to go to the bit that we want it to turn on at, and we're going to make sure that the opacity to that is zero. Then we're going to add a keyframe there, I'm going about two to three frames and turn it up to 100%. Now the reason I'm going about two to three frames is because otherwise it doesn't look, otherwise it doesn't look authentic as no light actually just turns on solidly straight away. Now what's all left to do is render that out. Okay, so there we go. You have now got your very own light, Andreas Hem light effect. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below all the tutorials you want to see and like, subscribe, but until next time, bye.